Hello, everyone. Welcome to St. Anne's Sycamore Tree Children's Worship. I am Miss Connie, and I am here this afternoon with Mr. Kimball and Miss Kristen, and they will help us with music. Let's read the gospel for today. And remember, when we read the gospel, we do a special prayer and a special gesture. We make the sign of the cross on our forehead and we say, God, let these words always be in the things I think about, always in the things that I say, and the things that are in my heart. Ms. Kristen and Mr. Kimball, can we hear our listen song? Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus said, God's kingdom is like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. There were five smart girls and five foolish girls. The foolish ones took their lamps but no oil to put in them. The smart girls took oil so they could light their lamps. The night was long and the bridegroom wasn't showing up. So they fell asleep. At midnight he finally showed up. The girls without oil said to the smart girls, give us some of your oil so we can see. But the smart girls replied, no, there isn't enough for all of us. Go get some for yourselves from the dealers. While the foolish ones were buying the oil they should have brought with them, the bridegroom came and took the smart girls to the wedding and shut the door. Finally, the foolish girls got some oil and came back to the wedding. They knocked on the door and said, let us in, but they heard a reply, sorry, too late. The point of this story is that you need to be prepared and you need to stay awake because you don't know what will happen or when it's going to happen. The Gospel of the Lord. If I say these two things, I bet you know the third thing that comes after it. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Do you know what the other one is? The next part is? Christ will come again. That's right. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. The Bible tells us that Jesus said he will come again. He also said to watch and wait and be prepared. And I was thinking, what does it mean to be prepared? That's a big word, be prepared. I was thinking about when I have visitors that come to my house and they're going to spend a long time at my house. How do I prepare for my visitors? Sometimes it might be my sister who comes to visit. Sometimes it might be my aunt or uncle who come to visit or my mom. And I want to be prepared. So to be prepared, I run to the grocery store and I get all the food that they like and I put it in my refrigerator and I cook, 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 and I clean up my house and I make sure that my table is set with beautiful plates and flowers and placemats and napkins so that I can welcome them into my home and make them feel good, make them feel comfortable in my home. Sometimes I prepare special food for them. Sometimes I make sure that there's a special flower in my house. Like if my sister likes a certain flower, like a daisy or a sunflower, 
I'll bring that to my house so that she can enjoy that. And as she spends the night, I'll put that in her bedroom. I am prepared for her to come so that she comes and feels like I am welcoming her and I really want her there. So Jesus tells us, be prepared for when he comes again because he said he's coming back. Sometimes we know that Jesus comes back to us in our hearts and our hearts need to be prepared. One day Jesus will come back to us in person and we need to be prepared for that too. But while we wait for him to come back in person, we wait for him to come into our hearts and we prepare our hearts for Jesus to come into our hearts, for Jesus to be known to us so that we can make Jesus known to other people. So in our Bible study, in our Bible story today, Jesus compares himself to the bridegroom. And Jesus said, there are 10 bridesmaids, five who were foolish and five who had wisdom. And he said, the bridesmaids were waiting for the bridegroom and they took their oil lamps. Now, Jesus talks about them waiting through the night for the bridegroom to come. And it got dark. And five bridesmaids had enough oil to last through the night. And five didn't think about getting extra oil. They brought none. And when night came, their lamps went dark and they couldn't see and they went running to the other five and they said please please give us some of your oil and they said well if we give you some of our oil we won't have enough then none of us will be prepared we were prepared you were not prepared so some of us are prepared in our hearts and in person to meet Jesus and some of us are not. Jesus says the wise people, the wise bridesmaids, are like all of us who are prepared, who say, Jesus is coming. I don't want to miss Jesus coming. Jesus also says, I come to you when you see someone who needs help. And if we're too busy and we just walk by and we're not prepared to see Jesus, we will miss that opportunity. We will miss that chance to say, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Like if you have a friend at school, if there's someone at school that has absolutely no friends, and you see that person, you are prepared to say, come be my friend. Come sit with me. Come share something with me. Jesus said, be prepared. He wants us to be prepared to meet other people and to see Christ, to see Jesus in other people and for other people to see Jesus in us. He talks about himself as the bridegroom. So when those bridesmaids saw Jesus coming, when they saw the bridegroom coming, they were prepared with enough oil to keep their lanterns burning. When we greet each other in church, we say, peace be with you. We see Jesus' love in each other and others see Jesus' love in us. When we are prepared, we pray, we read the Bible, we listen to other people who tell us about Jesus and who tell us about God, and those are all ways that we prepare our hearts to meet Jesus on the road, to meet Jesus in our lives, to meet Jesus in school, to meet Jesus everywhere we go, because we know that Jesus' love is in 
everyone. That Jesus says, I love everyone. When we think about that this week, let's watch and listen. Let's pray to be prepared. Let's read our Bible to be prepared. Let's talk to other people about Jesus and about God and prepare our hearts to see the needs in the world and to see Jesus. of the people let us give thanks to God always and for everything saying we thank you God for the beauties and wonder of creation we thank you God for all that is happy in the lives of children men and women that you show us who Jesus is we thank you God for our daily food for our homes and families and friends we thank you God for minds to think and hearts to love we thank you God for our health we thank you God when we are sad, comfort us, O God. When we are afraid, comfort us, O God. When we have hurt someone, we are sorry, O God. 